Hey, I'm gonna show you how I'm using Autotune Pro in Studio One at the moment. I find this plugin is super versatile and works really well with my workflow of using Melodyne first to pitch correct and then using Autotune to catch other stuff and just give that vibe. There's a link in the description that gives you a free 14 day trial to Autotune Unlimited. This includes Autotune Pro, Harmony Engine, all of their plugins, seriously good. Check it out. I get a little percentage fee from that, but it's a free 14 day trial. You can cancel after or you can continue if you vibe it. Thank you. Atari's for letting me use the software and check it out. Before I show you how I use it, I gotta do some pitch correction for this song that I'm working on. We'll chat to you after. I just finished tuning. What a crazy montage you just experienced. If you found this video helpful, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Helps me out a lot. I'll show you what I've done in this song by my friend for Dante. I mixed this. It's called Mom Not Proud. There's a link below to go stream it. Go support him. Let's jump in. This is the, the chorus of the song. I'll just play it. Yep, look at this cardinal sin. I've got a uh, stereo track on a mono track. I've tuned all of these vocals using Melodyne. I love Melodyne. If enough people want it, I can do a breakdown of, well, a tutorial, I guess, of how I pitch correct. I do a lot of pitch correcting. I would be happy to do that, yeah. So just comment below if you'd be interested in a Melodyne tutorial. Software like Autotune Pro does have a similar kind of function to Melodyne where you can record it in. I haven't really used it. To be honest, I haven't used it at all, mainly because Melodyne has the integration with Studio One, so it makes it super easy for me to just go Control M and then I'm inside of Melodyne. But I'm sure this does a very similar job. So workflow is I tune all the vocals, make sure that they're all correct. You know, like that. this is before, this is after. And then if I was using Auto-Tune, I would go to Auto Key. Auto key 2 is something that I haven't actually used before, so let's try that out. And then we just click play. Ah, seems to do pretty well. It's 161 BPM, that's correct. F major or D minor. Let's have a look. Oh, and what you can do with auto key is you can go center auto tune. So now when I click over on Auto-Tune, F major. Now let's listen. Put my love all over you. We're standing on the wrong side now. Probably make your mom not proud when you're down. Put my love all over you. Obviously that's going a bit crazy. Auto-Tune Pro is really good. It's really simple and you can obviously make it more advanced if you like, but I like how just easy all these features are tracking from memory is oh actually you know i don't even know one way let's have a look actually make it lower if it's like a more isolated signal and make it higher if it is a noisier signal so if there's like drums in the background 50 usually does the trick you can also change the input type alto tenor that probably works for his voice in this particular chorus where he's kind of belting. Classic removes the flex tune, which makes it sound more like Kanye. Modern is if you want it to be more transparent. You can control formants, which is cool. Not particularly useful in this case. I'm going for a transparent kind of sound. There's mix, which I guess you could use to get sort of a chorus effect. Now, retune speed is definitely up to your personal preference. I like to keep mine sort of, well, on the old auto-tune that I had, 
uh, which was the one that I bought through UAD, I always kept it at like 24. I don't know why. 24 was just a magic number. It just always sounded good. Put my love all over you. We're standing on the wrong side now. Brother made your mom not proud. Obviously, if you go to zero, you get that kind of T-Pain sort of sound, um, which can sound really good in certain circumstances. In this case, not exactly what I'm after. Flex tune, to my understanding, if you make this higher, the tuning becomes more subtle. So when it's at zero, you get those sort of, think of them as just like straight lines. Whereas when it's high, you can get like, <laughs> strange kind of example. But basically having flex tune on just allows it to sound more like a human voice and less kind of like this robot. So... I tend to kind of go in this like 60 region. This is just sort of the, the things that I've like stumbled across and slashed what I just use a lot. Doesn't necessarily mean it's correct. Definitely play around. Each voice is different. And humanize, I just kind of crank up into the three quarter area, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on the vibe. And natural vibrato, I don't even touch. The key to this uh, and the, a really important thing to remember is I have pitch corrected before I use auto tune. If you don't, it can, one, go to weird notes. And I think you can, yeah, you can change that. You can remove stuff, which is really cool. So if you know that there's not a G, you can say remove or bypass or whatever. So that is definitely a really good thing to do if you if you don't have Melodyne or you don't want to hand tune. Maybe you, you want that really hard auto-tune sound, but you don't want it to go to the wrong note. So this is perfect for that. I have already made sure all of the notes are fine. It already sounds natural going in. So now I'm just using auto-tune to give a sort of vibe, I guess. It's kind of an aesthetic. It has like a tone to it. Put my love all over you. We're standing on the wrong side now. Brother made your mom not proud. When you're down Put my love all over you I'm standing on the wrong side now Don't let me get my mouth up When you're down One of us is overdue I hope I better watch my life I also find using autotune in, in these kind of settings that I've got here just helps catch any pitch correction issues that I've maybe missed when I'm using Melodyne. Sometimes it's hard to get everything perfect, so software like Autotune is really handy to like fill in the gaps, so to speak. If you know here it bends down and it doesn't quite hit the uh, the G, it can kind of pull it down a little bit further. I think in conjunction, the two pieces of software are freaking amazing to use. And I would highly suggest using them together. I didn't actually use autotune on Dante's vocals in this. This was more of just an example of what I would do if I wanted that. Again, if you want me to actually break down the process that I would go into using Melodyne and then if I wanted to use autotune afterwards, comment below because, yeah, I'm happy to do that if you all want that. Another fun one, to be honest, is the autotune EFX Plus, which is a new one. It's kind of like a less, well, I think it is a less CPU intense auto-tune. Um, it's good for kind of effects and just sort of chucking it on. So again, if you just click on auto key and you go send to auto-tune and you jump, oh, it's not working. Then you jump here, it's been sent, which is nice. And then let's listen. Sounds pretty cool. Clearly that we can do some really cool stuff with auto-tune and their whole effect suite is pretty sick. I have not dived into it enough and I'd really like to because as you can see, just from the subscription bundle, 
there's quite a lot of effects here. This is not even all of them. I forgot to add. I <laughs> need to reinstall them because something went wrong on my computer. But there's a lot of effects and they're all really cool. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. If you want free 14-day trial, uh, hit the link in the description. It will help support the channel and it is free until you decide to subscribe. If you use Studio One, there's a link to my website store. Wow, website store, that's a nice way to say my store. Um, there's a bunch of free presets there. I've recently chucked up this vocal synth, which is using my voice. So if you want to hear a synth that sounds like my voice, it's very simple and not complicated, but it's there, it's free. Yeah, have fun, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.